Hello everyone, welcome to the game's paint tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to paint dark leather on this Reaper Dwarf here. So, we are going to start out with a base coat of Rhinox hide to all the areas we want the leather. For this example, I'm just going to be painting about here. So we're going to take our palette here, get a little bit on there, off of it, a brush, and apply. Just a simple base coat. We're probably going to want to do two coats of this just to build up the effect. Alright, with that done, I just decided to coat the mini in Rhinox Hide because I will be painting them mostly in brown colors. With that done, our next step is to take Morn Fang Brown here and a dark red Vallejo paint I did here and mix them in the palette. It's Friss. I will be doing, I will put the dark red right here. I will take about medium brush worths of Rhinox, mix them together in the palette. I mean, sorry, more than funny, not Rhinox. Rhinox is what we just used. So, this you go into a motion similar to just dragging out the corner and mixing. Try to get that dark reddish brown tinge there. And that done. We simply just dry brush this onto the lever. Like, not dry brush, but use a heavier brush to apply to each corner of the robe. Get up coat, whatever you want to call it. My have picked out where you want his leather color to be discerned and start painting this. There's not a significant difference with this, but trust me, later on it will build up and you will add effect to the thing. If it's kind of wet, that's just because the Vallejo paints are a little more watery than the Citadel paints. They should be alright. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to adjust the camera and it fell. Anyway, so. See, I have painted that red just while it's waiting for it to dry. So next up, we'll be taking Xandri dust, putting that on the palette, like so. And then we are going to take some of this red, like I was saying, and then just mix a tad bit in there. Then take a dollop of Morn Fang. Mix those all together. A little bit more red. Alright, that's done. Wipe off a lot of excess with this. And then strike across the coat. Yeah, so when, you, when you're striking across the coat, you want to go like this almost. 
the same with this spot up here and right here. Okay, that all dry. Here's the next step. Now this is going to be a bit more advanced. We are going to take the inner dust, take a sort of frayedish brush, and we're going to do what we call in the painting world stippling. This is going to make the wet leather look a lot more worn. So we're going to take off as much of paint as we can, so it's almost nothing. And then we're just going to stipple, just randomly jab it. That and it folds. Just randomly jabbing it here and there to make a sort of worn appearance. And with that done, that is our basic leather for today. I hope you this helps, and this is not the only way to do leather. There are potentially better ways to do it. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff, and, so we can get more views from people. We do bigger, better tutorials. And uh, thank you all. Have a good day. God bless.